breakfast? Come and get it with Peter G'day. Russell G'day. Clark. Yes, he's back for another week of very fine food. How are you, Pete? What do you mean another week? Well, How do you spell week? Uh, <laughs> double E. It's okay. Double, double E. W. But if you are H. if you are W E A K, then we've got a, a recipe for you this morning. What are we? Not talk- at my age. No. Next year. What are we talking about? We're going to talk about. You know when you go to a Greek restaurant and they heave the plates all over the bloody place? I thought maybe they'd got a bad a bad dish of moussaka or something, but it turns out that really they're saying they're having a good time and the food was good Oh, mm. mm. How would you feel about that if someone came to one of your restaurants and started smashing plates I've in appreciation ha- of your cooking? I've had it. <laughs> You've had it happen. <laughs> yeah. I've been to one of those Greek restaurants where they do do the plate smashing and it is fun. Well, in New York, they've got some Greek restaurants where they've got the, uh, the you know, audio is of plate smashing, so they don't really smash <laughs> really? the plates, they've just got the noise. Of <laughs> that awesome. aren't, aren't there some restaurants That's now great. where you're allowed to participate, you have to pay per plate? I oh, know, it's dreadful. <laughs> and you see, we think of Greek food as being just barbecues, but there really is more to it than that. And barbecue, by the way, means from the head to the tail, because the... Athenians used to barbecue the odd Spartan uh, now and again. And, in fact, that's where tin food first came from, when they rushed at the Athenians in their armour and then got chucked on the coals. <laughs> that's, that's, your, that's your first tin oh, spinach. Of course, of course. <laughs> No, right, they didn't using... use spinach, they used hemlock, didn't they? That's how they got rid of... I thought they uh, just speared them. I thought the Spartans had, they were just really good at... No, that's how the kebab first started. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, you, oh, have got, is... <laughs> you have got every fact, and I use fact in inverted commas. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we should listen to some music, and when we come back, yes. we're going to uh, be taken to a very special Greek restaurant by Peter Russell Clark here on Triple J. Now, we're talking Greek food this morning with Peter Russell. Spanakopita. Spanakopita. What? Uh, yeah. so just well, it's, it's, it's a cheese and spinach dish uh, made with phyllo pastry. Well, well, actually, it's encased in phyllo pastry, and phyllo pastry are like kimbies or bed sheets, you know, the very, very thin pastry. Mm. One doesn't make it at home, it's made commercially, and you get a bowl, put a thin sheet of phyllo pastry in the bowl, uh, either dust it with, um, not dust it, spray it with some olive oil or melted butter, and then another sheet, the same thing and the same thing, uh, three to five layers. Then in that, you tip three beaten eggs, Three different types of cheeses, um, you know, feta, a tasty cheese, and um, uh, some of that stuff that. <laughs> you know, parmesan? Very de- no, no, it should be parmesan. It's not, it's that oh, cottage right. cheese. Cottage oh, yeah, right. cheese. You, you might as well be eating bloody those things you clean your ears out. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan of cottage cheese, Mr. Russell Clark. Uh, and then spinach, which you've just wilted. Actually, the recipe says that you should cook it. I don't think you should. Just chop it up, throw I've it in a, with I've the cheese. I've got a spinach-related question, actually. Yes. With that, <laughs> sorry, I'm actually do. curious about this. Because I use spinach in a lot of things. Why do you, or even baby spinach, why do you have to wilt it beforehand? Why can't you just put it in directly and let it cook with everything else? Uh, because it reduces down. So if you've got, say, a colander full of spinach and then uh, put that under quite a bit of heat it reduces to about a handful Mm. Um, so you're better and you get rid of a lot of the water from it and the water is really the flavour so I believe if you want it warm simply warm it don't actually cook it so most recipes put it in like with um, oysters with spinach on the top Florentino I think they're called Uh, I think that's a bloody Horrible waste of time. <laughs> uh, eat the spinach by itself and then have the oyster natural. Mm. Uh, uh, Peter, don't, don't cook spinach. No, but, sorry but, to take you off on a spinach No, 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 but it's a, good, it's a good question. Spinach is full of iron, which is very, very good for you. Uh, that's if you're at my age. I just like putting it in lasagnas and, I don't, mm. and I'm quite lazy, so I just think, oh, why do I have to wilt it or cook when it I just beforehand? Put, it in, in that put case, it in fresh. Yes, put it in fresh. Well, I'm glad there we you go. I've just cut a little lasagna up. corner there. <laughs> now you mm. may go back to Spanakopita. I think in all our cooking, we should be cutting corners and also when uh, you you put your layers of phyllo pastry on the top of the spanakopita and you brush that with um, uh, with either butter melted butter or olive oil what i do is i sprinkle cheese 
Of uh, course you do. To lose. <laughs> well, no. Just bugger. had a cup of a, Don't say bugger me. Um, I'm sorry. Did just I just had a cup of a, um, Has that always had anchovies bugger in it? Bugger me. We're originally... talking about the Greek. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to happen. Um, has, it, has it traditionally had anchovies in it, Spanakopita? Uh, does top. it always? Yes. If, if you get it commercially, it always has oh, anchovies Oh, no, on top. commercially they save money. Mm. Yeah, mm. right. Yeah. But, the, but the original recipe is... Yes. For, I called it Spanakopita because <laughs> I, instead of putting bacon, which they do in, I put very thinly sliced lamb. And the Greeks are lamb people, aren't mm, they? You know, rather than bloody bacon. Peter Russell Clark, as always. Spanaka Peter Russell Clark. <laughs> it's been an education. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Just. And I'd like to pass on all my best wishes to you and your listeners. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Straight back at you. Consider them passed. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Robbie Marie and the Doctor on Triple J.